So, I found another retro unboxing candidate in our warehouse. I guess nobody wanted it, but this is the original Ultra X-Connect power supply with customizable cabling technology. So what is now known as a modular power supply, this is, I guess for one way or another, it is the original one. So it includes nine X-Connect cables and dual 80 millimeter fan cooling. This is an old, old product. So why don't we come around? So this was back when a 500 watt power supply was like a premium, premium power supply. These days, like most OEM power supplies are kind of getting up there, 400, 500 watts. So supports Intel Pentium 4 and AMD CPUs, meets ATX version 2.03 and 1.2 specifications, short circuit protection, in rush current protection, thermal overload cutoff protection, and uh, what else do we have here? FCC and UL approved, uh, oh, ooh, ooh, UV ready cables. That's pretty cool. You know what, that's a feature we still haven't seen since then. So what do we have on the side? So this tells us all the cables that are included, but that's okay, we'll have a look at that when we get inside the box. You can see it has a single 12 volt rail, which was typical back in those days. Now we see power supplies with as many as six 12 volt rails. And that single 12 volt rail is capable of providing only 408 watts. So these days, because most systems are so 12 volt dependent, you see that most power supplies are actually rated for at or near their entire wattage rating on the 12 volt rail. So you'd typically see somewhere between 490 to 500 watts available on the 12 volt rail. Now get this, this is a, this is a marketing call out, 70% typical efficiency, wow. These days, like I said, it's gonna be a lot, or I didn't say that yet, but I'm going to say it's a lot better than that. 80 plus gold power supplies are now available on the market, which is basically 90 plus. It's like 88 or 89% um, minimum efficiency. So yeah, it's, um, things have changed a lot uh, since this power supply hit the market. This is a brand new unit. So uh, we're getting the dust off it here and opening this baby up. All right, so the first thing we find inside is the, what is this? So it's a box and it's full of the X-Connect cable technology cables. So we will see what we have here. All right, so we've got a little user's manual, which, oh, we better register for our warranty. Register to win. You think if I send this in, I'll actually still be able to win? What do you win? Doesn't even say what you win. Oh, that's stupid. On, online with two eyes. Nice. Okay. Um, what do we got? Use only the cables you need. No unwanted cables. So basically everything that we already know about uh, modular cables. So it shows you how to plug in cables. Okay. That's fine. That's cool. Next we have a power connector. So that's your standard connector that we still use to this day. All right. Next we've got five screws just in case you lose one or it strips or whatever else. So this is a fully modular power supply, which means everything, including the 20 pin power connector because it does not have a 24 pin connector is fully modular it's fairly flexible it's got like a, a uv blue translucent uh, rubberized finish on it so if you're plugging in an ancient motherboard you could use this cable all right next we have um oh wow do we even have that yeah yeah there we go so it's p4 ready which means that you've got a pentium 4 four pin connector okay so that means uh, what else do we have? Does it have like SATA? Oh, it does. Okay, so let me see exactly how this works. So it has only two SATA. Oh, oh, it has this ancient auxiliary connector as well. So that I haven't seen in quite a few years. So it's actually got only Molex connectors on it, but you can adapt one of those Molex connectors to two SATA connectors if you're running like a premium SATA hard drive. Yeah, all right. So why don't we get the power supply itself? Out? You know, I didn't realize just how old this product was until I looked at the outside of the box and I saw that the NCIX SKU number is one, two, something, something. We're up to five, zero, something, something, something. So this is actually like, I mean, how do you even quantify that? It's, yeah, it's, it's one of the first 
I guess, 12,000 SKUs ever created on NCIX.com. Okay, so um, here we go. So you've got little rubberized connectors that cover up the modular interface, you know. Keep dust out of there when you're not using your 24-pin connector or whatever else it is that you would or wouldn't be using. There's your 4-pin. So that's pretty nice. It's actually got a beautiful glossy, black, uh, glossy blue finish on it. So I'll do my obligatory finger shot here where you can see the shininess that's going on. You can see that the QC was passed, the high pot was passed, and we've got another little spec sticker here that shows us the same things that we saw on the side of the box. Up on the top of the unit, we've got again a nice glossy blue finish that is actually reasonably scratch resistant compared to what we see these days. So it looks like paint technology hasn't, uh, hasn't really improved for the most part. Okay, then here we've got yet another glossy blue finish. Here we've got an 80 millimeter fan. You don't see too many premium power supplies with 80 mil fans and all of them have, uh, can accept both 115 and 230 volt inputs these days, almost. So that's an adjustable feature there. You've got a big power switch and then your power in. And then you've got an ultra fan grill over a what appears to be a 92 millimeter fan, or it might be another 80 millimeter fan. Can't tell off the top of my head, but there you have it. That was my unboxing of the Ultra X-Connect modular power supply.